Hello lovelies, it has arrived. What has arrived? Uh, by the title of this video, I'd expect you to know, but that's okay. These are the Crofter's Jams. These are the brand new four pack Crofter's Jams. So I'm doing my first ever unboxing and then we're gonna taste test them. I'm gonna be honest, I'm very impatient right now. Like I was patient enough pretty much to get the camera set up. Let's get this party started. Jams. Here we go, here we go. Okay, we got bubble wrap. Good, good, good. It's upside down. Oh, hells yes. Oh, I'm saving this. Um. <laughs> Share your unboxing videos on hashtag that's my jam. I will. I will, in fact, do that. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, I'm so excited. Spread your excitement, I'm excited. Okay, be very careful opening it if I'm gonna save it forever. All right. <laughs> okay, so right out, right out the gate, right out the gate, before we even open, we got uh, Patton, Virgil, Roman, and Logan right off the top, right off, like not even in the box yet. So I love the design. I guess I'll do a real like unboxing video. I love the design that like not even just like the inside box, which you guys not have, have not seen yet, I'm freaking out about. Not only just the inside box is cool, but like the shipping box is well designed. That's the attention to detail. Now I need to tell you guys, I was one of the first 2000. So I do know what's about to happen. Uh, I didn't mean to know what's about to happen. I was gonna let it be a surprise, but um, I watched Thomas's Instagram story. Okay, so let's, let's go over the different sides here. Sander sides. Anyway, we got Patton. Obviously, this is Peaches. We got Virgil. We got Logan. We got Rowan. And on the top it says Crofters Organic. Does the bottom do anything? Oh, wait, what is it? Virgil, Roman, Patton, and Logan. Yep, that's, that's, that's them. All right, here we go. How do I open you? How do I actually open you? I'm so excited right now. Okay. Do I look at it or should I like, like let you guys see? I'm gonna do it. Ready? We made a partnership with Crofters. We heard a roar across the border that we think came from their bear. We believe it meant to extend us an offer. For which I plan to make a jam that's just as tasty as theirs. Dreams come true. That's news to me. How wild. Blueberry. Who knew that? Would bear fruit so divine. Even I, I don't have the vocabulary to describe what I'm feeling inside, but for me it's very unordinary. The first time you bought it, I remember the day in a local health foods grocery. I felt like Laura Crofter, Nathan Dre. Oh, I'm so sorry. I was just trying to get one of the jams out. Hey, I'm, I'm just gonna get the jams out while we do this. That's news to me. How wild. Blueberry, who knew us at the funerary would bear fruit so divine? Even I. I don't have the vocabulary to describe what I'm. Feeling inside, but for me it's very unordinary. The first time you bought a jar, okay. I now I'm gonna very carefully get the jams out. We got in a local health food grocery. I felt like Laura Crofter, Nathan Drake, discovering a treasure once unknown to me. But the greatest thing is yet to be revealed. Guys, I cannot believe this is real. Even I, I don't have the vocabulary to describe that I'm feeling inside, but for me it's very unordinary. But Roman, do you like it? Like it? Like it? This is Crofter. This is Crofter. We're talking Crofter. Sweet, sweet Crofter. I mean, this jelly might as well be gold. It's all that I am. 
He's the only jelly I put in my belly. Only jelly in my belly. Na 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 na. The only jelly I put in my belly. Crafter. Oh. They didn't include Roman's little rip. That's okay. Will it do it again if I open it again? Like, will it, does it... It's not like a one-time thing, right? Like, it's like an every-time thing, right? Yeah! Okay, let's get the thumbnail real quick here. Okay. So, I want to show you guys before I do anything further. I put slime in it now because it's empty and I wanted to have, like, some sort of, like, jam-looking thing. But this was the original Logan's Berry. So first of all, can we just appreciate that upgrade? I actually wanted to look and see how they're different because like I was wondering about this. They've changed the bottle a bit, which is interesting. There's no Logan logo on the original, but this one has this little brain now. So like significantly larger, first of all, <laughs> like significantly and like upgraded bottle. We stand. How, many, how much larger? 10 ounces versus 16 ounces. Wow. 16.5 ounces. So yeah, significantly larger on the new Logan's Berry. Now this isn't just an unboxing. We need to try them. Now I thought about, do I try them like a normal person and like get like crackers or like toast? Um, no, I'm a fander. We gotta, we gotta do this the real way. So I'm gonna try these in order of which I think I will like them the most. I'm, I'm quite confident. I feel like I'm gonna like the Happy Pappy Peach one the most. I'm pretty confident in this. So we're gonna save that one for last. Raspberry and cherry or blueberry and cranberry. I tried their blueberry before and I didn't like, let me show you. I didn't like this one, which uh, <laughs> is probably not a good way to start this, but um, I save every jar of crofters I get because I can use them as props and TikToks. Um, so this one's Blueberry Blast. What was in this one? So I think my issue with this one was a texture thing. So I'm gonna just not use that actually to judge. I think I'm gonna go... Yeah, I think I'm gonna like the Raspberry and Cherry one. So we're gonna do... We're gonna... We're gonna end with Happy Pappy. We're gonna... Second to end with the Raspberry. Then we're gonna do Blueberry Cranic Attack. Yep, we're gonna start off with the classic, um, Logan's Berry because I've already had this one. I remember not being a huge fan, but it was a texture thing for me because that's something I, I uh, struggle with is sometimes food textures can really bother me. And in particular, uh, jams that are like, like have actual like berries and like chunks of fruit in them, like kind of my brain goes <laughs> So I remember not liking this one very much, but we are gonna try it again. It's new and improved. I don't actually know if it's any different and I'm not gonna be the one to be able to tell you if they've changed the recipe at all. I mean, I guess I could just look. Right, ingredients, organic fruit, seedless blackberry, organic pomegranate, organic cane sugar, pectin solution, water, apple pectin, ascorbic, ascorbic acid, vitamin C, citric acid. These are the exact same. Let's do it. It should taste the same, but I don't know. You know, Logan made it look really easy in the video where he just like flips it off. Like that's not accurate. See, this is like, this looks much smoother to me. So like, I feel like, like we stand a good chance here. All right, I have, I have four spoons. I'm taking this very seriously. There will be no cross-contamination in this household, okay? There will be no cross-contamination. All right, let's just dive right in like a true fander. What was that sound? It smells like I remember. Okay, still not my favorite. I say as I haven't tried any of the others, but like I'm not a big jam person in general, but it's better than I remember it being. I can definitely like put this on like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, I feel like. Like I feel like with some peanut butter, it would balance out really nice. So like I'm definitely going to be eating this. So we're off to a great start because the one that I was concerned about eating is better than I remember it being. All right, so let's put that one over here. I like them being like slightly on screen and like framing my face. All right. Let's go with Booberry Cranic Attack. All right, I'm gonna drink some water, cleanse the palate. 
I'm serious. Like I'm, this is, I'm taking this very seriously. Your spoon. All right. All right. That smells good. So this one, I already can tell is going to be a little bit chunkier, which is what I was worried about, which is what I was saying with the texture thing is like, yeah, there are like chunks of the berry in it, which is fine. It's fine. And a lot of people love that. Uh, I just struggle with texture. So I'm a little worried about this one. So we're going to do like a smaller spoonful. Ready? Why am I asking you if you're ready? You're just watching a video. It smells like blueberries. It's sweeter than the Logan Fairy. It's just the texture. It's just the texture. Like, it tastes good. Flavor-wise, it's very good. It's just the texture thing for me, which sucks. But, like, flavor-wise, it is delicious. Like, absolutely wonderful. Flavor-wise, it's very sweet. If I just, like, dip in and just, like, don't get any of the berry, like... Yeah. It's really good. I think I actually like the Logan's Berry slightly more than the blueberry, which I find interesting. But again, it's just, it literally just comes down to texture for me. And it's frustrating, but like, it is what it be. Royal Raspberry Chariot. Cleanse the palate. Get the spoon. Again, here we go with texture. Looks much more like jelly, which I'm feeling more confident about going in. Um, yeah, this is much smoother. So fun fact, my favorite crockery flavor in my fridge right now is strawberry. And a huge part of the reason of that is that the, the texture is much more like jelly-ish, more smooth. Um, and also it's just extremely sweet, which is why I'm excited for a patent because I feel like that one's going to be the sweetest. I'm excited for this one. I have a good feeling about it. So let's, okay. I like sniffing them first. I don't know if that's weird. <laughs> I just want to know what's going to happen. Like when, it, you know, I don't know. Oh shit, that's good. That, I'm gonna go in for a second, actually. Okay, okay, that is that is my new favorite. That, Roman, you did good. Roman, like, listen, listen, you had to wait like, what, like three years for your jam? But you know what? Freaking worth it, this was fantastic. You got like the best like so far like that was absolutely delicious Robin. and I was right the texture is very smooth which makes me happy. All right this is one I'm most excited to try like obviously he's my favorite character so like like I'm a little bit biased but beyond that I think that peach and mango is going to be really sweet and I like sweet things like my favorite is the strawberry so I have I have high hopes I have high hopes for Patton. Cleanse the palate. Okay. Smells good. <laughs> Fresh new spoon. Um, again, we are ooh, ooh, ooh. I like how that that like texture. That's a fan. Okay, right off the bat, the texture is fantastic. Like, like, watch how I can like just like like it just scrapes up. It's like jelly. This is ideal. This is ideal for me. So right off the bat, we are doing fantastic. Yep. Okay. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is great. Mm -hmm. Hey, Sanders, I need you to sell these individually so I can just buy like an entire box of this one, please. Because it's very good. Mm -hmm. I've never understood the like eating the jam straight out of the jar thing. Like I've always ever used crafters like on a sandwich, but like I could eat this whole thing. Oh my God, that's so good. Okay. So here is my final rating of the jams. In last place, not bad, but last place is gonna be Virgil. It's just a texture thing for me. Don't, I can't do the texture. Then we got Logan's Berry, um, which is better than I remember. And it is smoother and tasty. Then we got Roman's Royal Raspberry Chariot, which was wonderful texture, very sweet. No, not very sweet, but pretty sweet. Um, and coming in absolutely at the top is Happy Pappy Pat and Peach because I want to eat. I'm probably going to turn off the camera and just keep eating this one. I need these to be sold individually so that I can buy specifically these two again. These are fantastic. I am very impressed. I am very happy. These are very good. And I love that they're in the bigger containers because, again, this was the original. So I love that I now have more I can eat. 
um and i am excited to just like like just devour these so favorite least favorite still good all of them are good thank you for watching guys click like if you like this video be sure to subscribe if you want to see more um i've been doing a lot of standard side stuff lately but yeah i hope you enjoyed this i hope you have a lovely day and thank you to Thomas and Crofters for making such amazing jams. Um, I have to ship two cases of these to the UK because they don't ship to the UK. And I have two more cases in my car. kind of want to steal the patent ones out of them, but I'm not going to do that. But I kind of want to. Anyway, <laughs> thank you so much for watching. I love you guys. Bye!